So the story of narcosis actually started out because um, I was fascinated with the sea when I started my PhD and I was doing a lot of scuba diving for documentation and the first time I ever really felt nervous is when I was going to do a very deep dive because one of the things that uh, presents danger to you on this dive is that you can experience nitrogen narcosis which is when you start hallucinating you experience euphoria because your body can't process the gas properly and you might see beautiful colors and eventually die. <laughs> so it's a very, a very um, beautiful but tragic ending. And I became fascinated with this idea of the misbalance of gases in the human body, but then also how that would look in the sea or in the ocean. So when there is too much nitrogen or a misbalance of gases in our ocean, something called eutrophication happens and things like large algae blooms and dead, dead zones form. So I'm really fascinated by all of these different types of pollution that happen in the human body or in the sea and how we can create um, an image out of it. So the images are very bright and colorful and happy but they're actually about quite dark topics. You can't tell if it's a hallucination that you're having, or maybe it's the sea that's polluted with algae blooms, or it could also be a river of plastic in the sea. So there was um, a, lot of, a lot of inspiration wrapped up in it. I spent three years doing these six pieces, so there's a lot of stories that kind of fit into each one of them. Um, but what, what was really important to me when I was working in, in Poland and also in Estonia was that I find some way to create in a more ecological manner. So I was fascinated with the concepts of, of the sea and how, um, how pollution has an effect on it and the human body. But I also wanted to do something that actually helped the environment at the same time. So as most people living in Estonia know, we have very beautiful beaches here, but there's often algae that um, washes up on the sea or very large amounts of seaweed that appear there during the summer. And this is sort of a, a catalyst of the process of eutrophication. So we can remove it and make paper from it. And in this process, you also use less chemicals than you do when you're making paper from trees. It's also allowing our forests to grow, but at the same time you're cleaning the sea. So this is what the prints were made on top of, was paper that was developed in Tartu, Estonia, and all of it was done in a classical printmaking style. <laughs> so I think when people come to the exhibition, um, something that I've experienced a lot is I'm very overwhelmed by the idea of the ecological crisis. It's um, very frightening to think about the world that we inherited with a lot of problems and all of the problems that our children are going to inherit. But the idea of the, the exhibition was to take something that's very terrifying and overwhelming, something that fills up the entire sea and pollutes also our own bodies, but to try and take it as an opportunity to do something better than the generations before us did. So the idea is to somehow take trash and things that are damaged and turn them into something beautiful, like a work of art. 